read them. I have no changes. Yeah, so say if we don't, if I can get a motion to accept the minutes. I make a motion. Uh, you second it? I'll second it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Great. All right. Updates on contracts? 1240. Mm -hmm. At uh, 1246 uh, p.m. Tuesday, we received this agreement mm -hmm. from the NCTC. Um, not this one. Right. And um, through all of our efforts to push back and not. Um, agree to these uh, these extreme terms that are the extreme terms that uh, AMC was uh, asking for eight years or ten started at ten got to eight a um, dollar ninety six across all subs and uh, forced carriage of five channels and expanded basic so they were really really uh, put the full court press to the NCTC and it pushed back you know with efforts like ours that they could point to um, and a num number of other members that actually went dark on midnight um, that caught their attention that got AMC to start to yield on some of the things um, and in our case because we're uh, smaller than 10,000 subs uh, it's basically a status quo yeah. contract for us except for the money really yeah so the rate the new rate uh, for AMC is for all of the channels but must be applied across expanded basic so basically that's this rate that you see which is sorry for the press but that's privileged and confidential mm -hmm. um, is uh, is the new rate for AMC. So if you looked at it from a single channel standpoint for American Media Classics, it's gone up quite a bit from uh, about triple. Meaning the others uh, that we carry are uh, now free or included of those and they're optional. Um, I, I remember the uh, we had a request and I don't know what one note to the committee asking for a channel um, constitutes in terms of um, being representative of all 8,000 subscribers but uh, we did have that request come in here handwritten note for um, uh, a customer for Sundance mm -hmm. so but given the the um, the heat that went along with this contract I'd like to avoid touching any of the channels for the time being and maybe mm -hmm. table that request for a later date well, we had request one Smithsonian, is that? Yes, and that's, we've got some acted some motions and activity on that, okay. but uh, I'll, I'll get down to that. That's um, okay. um, I guess, well, let me just bring it up now, as it's a result of uh, the AMC contract, um, and that particular dollar move um, lets us, uh, it, it continues to support the motions for additional content uh, we thought we were going to have to replace content in digital basic but now it's just it's, a, it's about the money you know we can add the, we now have the financial room in digital basic to actually lower the rate slightly um, by a nickel and um, add these channels so the situation's changed a little bit in that there are, uh, you know the Oprah, Win Oprah Winfrey network is leaving digital basic mm -hmm. and it's going to be on expanded um, but the, I guess the point is the budget still supports these additions for no changes and actually a slight reduction in the rate for that tier so um, the committee at the, at the 23rd um, Again, the context of this is a little different, but you we know, made the motion to, <coughs> excuse me, um, add Smithsonian, Axis, which is was formerly HDNet, 
CNBC World, which is free, and HDNet Movies, which we propose to add package in the HD Extreme tier. Um, and subject to the budgetary approval of the city council, which is basically there is no change to the rate to that tier, so uh, that's implied. Mm -hmm. um, likewise, um, the Golf Channel is a required meltdown, so that's automatic. And just in terms of repackaging, that's not new content. Um, this um, further inseparable motion to add ESPN buzzer beater, ESPN goal line, and ESPN bases loaded to the ex digital extended tier, which would be losing uh, the golf channel and clue because of the meltdown requirements mm -hmm. from that. Um, uh, it's also um, approved at the last meeting. Now we can change any of this, address any of it, keep it like uh, we've got it proposed, and, um, and, and proceed. And that restores Smithsonian for those that specifically responded that they didn't want it if it increased their rate. That was how that survey was styled. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. And it puts a quality channel back on the lineup, yeah. which is your all's purview to say, mm -hmm. we want that. Yeah. And then the, and you're saying that the HDNet would be in a, a new channel. Well, correct. So we right. All these that are asterisks aren't currently carried at the moment, yeah. so that we need specific approval. And, and we've got it so far. I just wanted to bring it back to you in mm -hmm. the aftermath of the AMC deal to see yeah. if you had wanted to make any changes to this yeah. proposal. Mm -hmm. Which has already been presented to the city council. Oh, so, do we have to vote on this now? Then? Mm -hmm. that, so, the motion's already made and approved right. the last meeting. Okay, Just right. bringing it up okay. in case there's any change of heart. No change for me. No. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Okay. Anytime you're ready, can we that? Yeah, and particularly since you know we can do it in these particular tiers. Um, you know, expanded basics that is just under that pressure all the time. So what rating will some Smithsonian channel be? We'll put it probably right back on the same number no, as we had. Okay. Six O's. Six O's. I think that number is still available. Yeah, it is. It's black. Right. There's music on there now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've had some good concerts on 605 the last two weeks. Palladium. Yeah. I mean, I watched. Yeah, I watched Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah. That wraps the agenda item A and C. Very good. Thank you all for your support. It was not easy to um, kind of live through that. You know, it's one thing to talk about. It's quite another. So, uh, actually so what it. was the result of it uh, as far as like phone calls? And things? Like not as bad as I thought. You guys took some. You got to like a comment section after an article. Maybe could people comment on Facebook. On Facebook yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I, what did you see? I, Our Facebook. Well, post I never got the first call. We got well, the walkie did is not live right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Think, that'd be different. Month, 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 month. Month. Oh, yeah. I think that's why they probably added that five years plus four months mm -hmm. because then contract negotiations next time will be like in the middle of a series. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. I would have. Uh, oh, that's exactly God. how I would have done it. Yeah. If I were them too. Mm -hmm. so, well, if you're going to get us down to five years, we're going to make sure we at least loop in the, the whatever we got on. Mm -hmm. you know, the out 2021. Mm -hmm. Wow. So um, it'll probably still be around. We had one comment on our Facebook post, uh, maybe two. I don't know. But the first, the very first one was, as long as you get it fixed before the walking dead comes on. Yeah. yeah. We'll let you live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we won't send the zombies your way. Right. <laughs> Unbelievable. NBCU technically expired, um, and that's uh that includes the services USA, Sci Fi, Bravo, MSNBC, C N B C NBC Sports. Oxygen E and the Golf Channel. That's what they consider their tier one channels. Uh, most of those are expanded basic, and I forgot what color NBC is, maybe yellow on our little um, 
was yeah. the yeah. 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 yeah, there's the conglomerates. There are five different colors, five large media companies right. own everything. Uh, it's not, um, I think the way that uh, NCTC expressed it was a minimal risk of, of having to break down and, and go through all this that we went through with AMC. Um, but they are still negotiating. We're under a, uh, um, an extension. Yeah, so it's technically expired. Uh, this is the January 3rd update. Um, most of it is, other than the money, is um, uh, status quo carriage. There are some members, larger members in the system that are bumping up against some of these penetration um, uh, constraints. Uh, they're basics to expanded basic. So a lot of operators today, because of the lack of margin in video, mm -hmm. are just saying, look, the video package will be whatever it is, kind of like we do, but they, of course they may have whatever markup they've got. And we're going to start driving folks to our more profitable um, side of the operation, which is the internet. <coughs> and they'll, they start packaging basic service with broadband service and whatever over the top streaming stuff they can get worked out. In our particular case, we um, so far only have the, um, um, the TV Everywhere streaming rights that are built into most of these agreements. And we're launching HBO Go in February. So those would be the, yeah. I didn't have to ask. Yeah. So um, it's just a, unless there's something to report that's extreme, we would anticipate uh, uh, the co op working this out. Eric was on a webinar yesterday afternoon uh, during the council meeting. And was there anything extraordinary that popped out? I uh, don't know if it can be shared or not. As far as what what their if they can't reach an agreement, what their plans are. Um, as far as but they're still negotiating. Yes, and we're not at risk of having to drop. Them. They said the risk is minimal. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll just we'll keep you up to date on that. I assume um, we've already built in uh, the new rate that we read in the ordinance. Um, I think a twenty percent increase. Yes, and it's looking like they're they're already down to less than that in the negotiations. So, yeah. um, once it's done, that will automatically ratchet down the way the ordinance is styled. Well, good, that's the way it will. It, it comes back to the right down. Right, good. right. So, uh, we would intend to, unless you had some objection about uh, the NBC uh, services, um, it's as with many packages, it's an all or nothing. That right. everything they've got mm -hmm. here is. Um, um, wrapped up in that one agreement. It's status quo carriage for us. There's no new launch obligations. And um, I, did they talk about the term? It's three years. Three years, yeah. Three years, so, you know, the NCTC likes to get five. Uh, so we kind of know what our future looks like, but um, it's looking like it's going to be three. Um, that's, that's probably okay. That finishes NBC. The only possible um, channel addition might be Sprout. Um, Which is what? The that's kids program. Oh. The, the NCTC has to hit a aggregate penetration, uh, which they are below now. So they, they didn't really specify what members in the webinar yesterday, but did say that uh, some members, I don't know how they're going to pick and choose, might need to launch Sprout. Um, so that might be the only one that that we might have by to January of seventeen. All right, so far is what's negotiated. Right. No, so a year later. Right. So we've got time, uh, but it does. It would come with that constraint. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone that would see that as a deal breaker out of this committee? No. Frankfurt carries it, and uh, yeah, uh, my counterpart up there, John Egenbotham, says he really it's really a popular channel for them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good catch there, good point. Uh, Turner is just getting started. Um, uh, I don't see any reason we wouldn't let the uh, NCTC continue yet again to be our exclusive negotiating agent. Uh, they seem to have done quite well. I have uh, no idea if we had been on our own mm. with AMC, you know, 
eight thousand or four million. Yeah, we're not that big. Uh, you know, I think NC just you know, for all the years tortures. I've been involved with this, they, they do a heck of a job, seems to me. Yeah. So, does NC have any So, they knew they were losing so much a day, right? AM, AMC did. Must have. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they figured it out. I was sitting there going, you know. There was a pretty big news blackout on it, too, because I'm up looking and looking and looking to see who's covering it. It was on MSN.com, I saw. Oh, it was? Yeah. Okay. So there were a lot of subscriber cable companies. Yeah, it said NCTC, 4 million subscribers to drop wow. AMC. Wow. Mm -hmm. They're dark in the, the, lar the, the largest cable operator in Alaska dropped them. Hmm. And they're still off, and I'm not really sure if they're bringing them back or not. Hmm. So. Well, we got a little power with four million. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're probably over ten thousand customers. Then, so yeah, and those folks, people that are larger, over ten thousand subs, do have some carriage obligations. It's staggered out in time mm -hmm. uh, by 2018, but they've still got to add some of those to expand the basic. So, mm -hmm. Hmm. Um, we. Or just small enough to look out for status quo. So NCTC has the Turner as well, right? Now. It's coming. Uh, they'll be handling that uh, for us through, um, and it, it expires on February 29th. Do we need to make a motion or anything to allow NCTC to be our sole negotiator? Not necessarily. Okay. Uh, right I the now, yeah, yeah, that's more administrative here, okay. operationally. Uh, but uh, would they bring back to us if it were to involve the loss of something? Mm -hmm. We got to come back to this committee for approval. That's all I've got on that. Um, then we'll keep you updated via email on those negotiations. Um, other than that, uh, item three. Has anybody got any questions on those so far? Um, expiration dates of anything else that we, that we see. Here, I don't have anything um, really at all to point out or report or um, outside of what we've already said. Uh, f other than, say, the Fox networks. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, which are the pink ones. <coughs> yeah. Oh, pink ones. Okay. And uh, Fox News still stands alone. And, and it's it's a Fox network, but it's not part of, but the, at the, end of, the, of the bundle. But it also is co terminus with those. 1231.16, and I'm sure that's by design. And if you look at Fox Sports Ohio, it's also coterminous, as it's a Fox network, even though it's its own separate agreement. Mm -hmm. So the last time, if you remember, um, when we redid the Fox contract, um, they tied it to your carriage of the regional sports networks somewhat. Um, the loss of South has saved us um, some money mm -hmm. for um, definitely north of a dollar approaching two. I'm not as close as I can put that. Really? Per month, per subscriber. Wow. It's come with some pain of a few global games that they carry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, so uh, how come that is that South gets exclusive rights yeah. to a game or two and, yeah. and rub it in our face? Mm -hmm. They're just charging us a lot for very little. It's, but the majority for a very little local, yeah. yeah. But you know, also has the the so regional. And the What's SEC the closest to Stryker carry South? They carry Ohio. So they're losing all this money because they won't come down. Fox South, or how's that work? Well, it's it's uh, it's a packaged deal yeah. or a standalone for either one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, and it's still, it's cheaper for the one. Um, and uh, both of them don't cost as much as the, the sum of the two, but it's still more. And for a game or two, it's just not. Well, they it. carry my ACC football. They do. My mm -hmm. Fox South did all. How come I show it? Because they lost the SEC yeah. content. Yeah. So they had to go yeah. get something else. Oh, that's right, yeah. But, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I, I, and it gets, and those shows, those games are that are on South usually are on ESPN mm -hmm. three, but then get blacked out for our yeah. region. Right. Well, here's so. a caveat then maybe to consider: we are creating that economy tier, mm -hmm. which won't have sports in it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you if we want to raise the expanded basic some more, 
uh, because it'll have that direct impact. About a two dollar a month impact to expand now, the basic to add Fox Sports back South. Fox Sports South and Fox Sports Ohio is owned by Fox, right? Mm -hmm. Now, how come they don't want Fox South on there? But they, you know what I'm saying? Why would they get the money down to get it on everything? Yeah. Why are they losing that money? We tried. We asked them that question, and they said, oh, "This is just the going. We think it's fair value. We have the okay. we have the Cleveland so Cavaliers. Nothing and, from our 8,200 subscribers. Right. And what would we do it for? Would we do it for a quarter? Or uh, we offered some smaller amounts, and they wouldn't take. That makes no sense. Okay. It's the same as the the tavern fee, the tavern restriction, or the commercial account restriction." They uh, they don't give you the option to charge a uh, what they call a hospitality establishment mm -hmm. a regular residential rate. ESPN does. It says if you charge just the regular residential mm -hmm. rate at a commercial establishment mm -hmm. or a bar or restaurant, then you pay us just the regular wholesale rate. Right. In Fox's case, they say if it's a hospitality establishment, they serve food or drinks. Uh, it's here's it's by seat. It's okay. expensive. Yeah, it starts at thirty-seven fifty per month for that one channel, and goes up by seat. So the top of tavern, or you know, and even a, and they charge us double the wholesale rate for commercial accounts. <coughs> so they're really honored, and they may try to tie all that back in to the Fox renewal at the end of this year. We'll see. They certainly there was some there was some uh, intermixing of those agreements in the last time mm -hmm. um, when we renewed um, South and Ohio. They said you shall be a current member in good standing with the NCTC for carrying all these Fox networks, all the pink ones, and then here's the rates that go along with that mm -hmm. for Ohio and South. And we're like, what's and we had to ask several times, what is the standalone rate for Ohio? And they didn't want to tell us that. Mm -hmm. so, Sorry. So I'm hearing you on that some of that pain, but it's it saved. Yeah. It saved a lot of people who don't care about sports a lot of money. Yeah. Now with the new sports tier, mm -hmm. this back to this, we're going to be able to lower, uh, build a new tier mm -hmm. uh, called the economy tier, mm -hmm. and it's it's expanded basic with the sports trip out stripped out and it lowers that by fourteen dollars and sixty six cents. But they're not gonna just let that floodgate wide open. They constrain that to three and a half percent of total subs. So we'll have to monitor how many people take take that service and watch it. So that's the only one of note, Eric, unless you know of anything, Tracy, um, there's nothing on the horizon other than that that's uh, that's scary. In expanded basic. Um, and all the NBCs. The meltdown of golf from extended digital basic to digital basic will be appreciated by those subs, I'm sure. Um, and it um, doubles their eyeball count, which is why they're making us do it. From about a thousand to about two thousand people. That's all I've got. Very good. <coughs> Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Now, where's the golf channel going to? Right there. Digital, digital basic. basic. Okay. It'll be the same number. It'll just be authorized okay. across the digital basic uh, okay. subscriber I got you. It doesn't change the number. Right. Right. Great. Well, thank you. You and Eric both it was very succinct. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I even understood it. So <laughs> right. I tell you, and I appreciate Tracy and Eric's help on all this, uh, um, all this work in terms of getting these yeah, things prepared and tracked, and um, the notifications out to well, folks. So they do a good job. Yeah, it makes no sense, you know. So that's what makes it more complicated. Very good. Anybody else have anything? No, just glad we had a happy ending. Yeah, yeah, me too. All right, I'm making someone make a motion to adjourn. Oh, remember the next meeting is April sixth. Okay. Mm -hmm. motion? Yes, I'll second. second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Let's go. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you all. Okay. Uh -huh. This is Fox 4 South. Yes. Hi.